Hey, what is going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video, my supports, Gematria. This is going to be installment part 14 for the Gabby Petito series. If you haven't already, if you're new here, uh, on my YouTube page, go to playlists, and I have the Gabby Petito case. I have 13 videos in here right now. This is going to be number 14 that you're watching. And I talk about a bunch of different topics, the Squid Game, Tyson Fury, Big Brother 23, Dak Prescott and the Cowboys, Birdman, Little Wayne, Wendy Williams, UFC 266, Blink-182. Talk about a bunch of different topics. And, th and for this topic, we're going to be talking about Sandra Bullock and her upcoming movie called The Unforgivable. And I'm also going to uh, throw in some Squid Game here. So if you haven't seen Squid Game, uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to ruin it for you if you haven't seen it. So just uh, just a heads up. So Sandra Bullock, so she has a movie coming up called The Unforgivable. It's an upcoming drama film starring Sandra Bullock. She's a woman who attempts to rebuild her life after serving time in prison for committing a violent crime this movie will be released in the u.s on november 24 2021 coming up so she served time for committing a violent crime over the summer of 2021 a violent crime happened that was brought to everyone's attention and most would consider it unforgivable The title of the movie, The Unforgivable, equals 75 and 78, and her name, Gabrielle Petito, sums to 75, and she was born on the 78th day of the Gregorian year. Gabby and her fiancé, Brian Laundrie, which sums to 128, was pulled over in Moab City, which sums to 128 as well, on August 12th, written 8 slash 12. This was the same day that Tyson Fury had a birthday. I, like I said, go back and watch those videos uh, of the series. I talk about that right here in this video. Uh, the Hebrew Tyson Fury and Gabriel Petito. It's the same day Tyson Fury had the birthday. This is when Brian Laundry and Gabby were pulled over in Moab City, 128. And the star of this film is Sandra Bullock, which sums to 218, a reflection of 112. So you have this 218, this 812, 128. These are all just anagrams, reflections uh, of each other. And to keep it going, a very popular TV show, Squid Game, that has caught a lot of buzz since its release in September features a character who is considered the number 218. He's wearing the number right here. Sandra Bullock, 218, a reflection of 812. They were pulled over on August 12th, 812, or 12 slash 8, in Moab City, 128. Brian Laundry, 128. This character, 218, he's the very last blood sacrifice for the game Squid Game. In the TV series. The day, the day that this The Unforgivable film is released, starring Sandra Bullock, will be a day leaving 128 days left in the Hebrew religious year, also known as the Ecclesiastical year. It will be the 79th day of the Hebrew civil side of the calendar. 79 is the 22nd prime number, Gabby Batito's last birthday. Uh, was her 22nd, 22-year-old birthday. Sandra Bullock's character name in the movie is Ruth Slater, which sums to 128. Again, Brian Laundrie, 128. Ruth Slater is guilty of murdering police officers, 128. Ruthless Slater slaying at it again. Gabby's last birthday just so happened to be on the 182nd day of the Hebrew Civil Year. 
and she was officially reported missing on the 182nd day of the Hebrew religious side. Their road trip started on July 2nd, and they leave in 182 left in the great Korean year. Van Life Girl sums to 82. Where's Gabby? Sums to 182. See the uh, date? 8 slash 12. 8 12. The date. And more on that is in this video right here. The numbers of Gabby Petito, her fiance, said an inverted pentagram. Artwork. Body found 137 on the 13th day of the 7th month. Follow the rainbow. Language of God. And then bunch of other videos this is video number 14 i uh, definitely appreciate you uh checking out this video thank you for watching and i appreciate the support